Hey, good morning everybody on this Tuesday morning. Boy, am I glad you clicked on this video this morning. You and I obviously have a lot to talk about with a severe weather threat coming in. Now this will be the eighth severe weather threat we've had since about Thanksgiving, but I think you've already figured out that this one is a bigger deal. You know, in severe weather, all the right things have to come together at all the right moments. You have to have instability or what we call in the business CAPE, convective available potential energy. I know that's fancy. Or you also need spin, uh, rotation, directional shear with altitude. We're going to have plenty of that. Uh, what else? Strong low pressure to the northwest of us. It's a perfect setup. So we're going to walk you through it. Have you got about three minutes? Let me give you all the meat and potatoes you need to know as we get ready for this severe weather event, okay? All right, you see part one, which is the showers we have this morning. That'll be easing on eastward. And part two is that more robust area of showers and storms moving out of Texas later today. So this is future radar, and this will take you through the day until about 5 o'clock this afternoon. And you see by about 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon, those stronger storms coming into southwest Alabama at that hour and then marching across the state tonight. So for the daytime hours today, 70% chance of showers, maybe some thunderstorms, high 74, fifth day in a row of temperatures in the 70s, southeast winds 10 to 20, Adjusting to 25 miles per hour today. Six o'clock tonight. That is powerful low pressure, my friends, in west central Mississippi, and we are in the warm air sector. That is a severe weather setup, and that's a powerful severe weather setup at midnight. Uh, the state is getting pounded at that hour with low pressure near Memphis, Tennessee. And moving on to the north. In fact, by 6 o'clock in the morning, that low makes it into Kentucky. The cold front is on the uh, Georgia-Alabama border, and our severe weather threat will be ending. The Storm Prediction Center continues their moderate risk of severe weather now across south-central and southwest Alabama. The enhanced risk is far north as uh, the Clanton area, and even a slight risk farther to the north. So it's going to be a busy day, uh, and the Storm Prediction Center will issue a updated outlook later. We'll let you know if that changes. But here is their tornado threat, and this is significant. When you see a 15% hatched area there from the Storm Prediction Center, they rarely, rarely do that. That's a pretty strong threat. 40% chance, uh, actually about a 45% chance of damaging winds in the uh, moderate risk area. That's almost a 50-50 chance. The uh, National Weather Service in Birmingham extends their significant severe weather threat as far north as Clanton, and I think that's reasonable. They've got the severe weather entering the western counties at about 4 p.m. and out of the state by about 4 a.m. in the eastern counties, and I think that is also a reasonable timeline. So we'll say 4 p.m. west through 4 p.m. Uh, 4 a.m. east. Main threat, damaging winds 70 miles per hour or higher. A significant tornado threat, I'm afraid. Golf ball size hail, certainly a possibility as well. And again, the stronger threat in that moderate risk in south and southwest Alabama. Here's your rainfall possibilities. 1.7 inches Montgomery, 1.4 inches around Dothan, 1.9 inches around Birmingham. That's on top of what we've already had. We had a record rainfall at the Montgomery Airport yesterday at 1.96. So this is going to be additional rainfall. Hey, can I give you a few severe weather reminders without insulting your intelligence? This is all stuff we know, but maybe we should be reminded from time to time. Make sure your cell phone is fully charged this evening in case we lose power overnight. That could be very important. Weather radios. Make sure your weather radio is in the alert position. It's plugged up, turned on. Make sure there's fresh batteries in case we lose power. You know, every once in a while I still run into some people who don't have weather radios. Can you imagine living in Alabama without a weather radio? Wow. Uh, if you don't have one, go by, for heaven's sakes. You still have time to go by Walgreens or Publix. Pick one up today. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out how to program it for your county. Yeah, two more things and I'm done. Uh, shoes. Make sure you're wearing shoes if you go under a warning. That could be very important as far as debris and broken glass. Also, helmets. Do you have helmets? Especially for the kids. You go into your safe place. Make sure they have the bike helmets on or, or a uh, football helmet. You know, most tornado deaths could be eliminated with the use of a helmet. After the storm, here comes the colder air flooding in into Wednesday night into Thursday and Friday. Temperatures will only be in the 50s, especially Thursday and Friday. Look at the morning low of 34 Friday morning, 32 sat Saturday morning, and then uh, upper 30s on Sunday morning before we start to warm up. We'll be in the upper 60s by Sunday afternoon, and that's the start of some nice things. So, Warmest day will be today. Coldest mornings will be Friday and Saturday morning in the low 30s. Then the big warm-up begins, especially Sunday and an extended period of warmth that takes us through and into the early part of March. 
Obviously, if you're in a mobile home, you got to get out of there in a warning situation. Hopefully, your mobile home park has some sort of substantial structure to go to, or maybe this would be a good night to spend uh, with friends to, in a home somewhere. Look, as far as extra severe weather coverage today, I don't know where you're seeing this video right now, but I can tell you where you're going to get extra posts from me throughout this severe weather event, and that would be on my Facebook group, Rich Thomas Weather, and also on my Twitter feed. Excellent coverage on the Twitter feed at Rich Forecaster, including automatic warnings from the National Weather Service. I'll be here with you through the storm. I don't know if you're going to get a regular video tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. It's going to be a long night. Uh, you'll get a video eventually. Have a good day. Rich Thomas Weather.